Wow, it's crazy. I can't believe they've kind of given me my own show. The Christopher Tolkien show. The show that everybody knows. The Christopher Tolkien show. Where we talk about toys. Wow, and welcome back to another Christopher Tolkien show. Today, it looks like we'll be looking at some Ghostbusters figures. Now, these figures range from the 80s. Well, so I'm guessing this figure is Peter Ventman, played by the great Bill Murray. There we can see the Ghostbow logo on his arm. The paint works a little bit shoddy, but as I say, these toys are over 20 years old. I'm guessing that hole there in his back is for his proton pack. I'm sorry, but I don't seem to have any proton packs for the figures. I mean, it looks nothing like Peter Ventman. But while we go on to the next one, why would you have one, two, three Eagle Spanglers? I mean, come on. If you was going to have three characters the same, you'd probably have three Peter Ventmans. But anyway, moving on. What's this one doing? He presses his arm and his head moves. Whoa, that looks freaky. Looks like he took a trip on some acid or something. And you can see the big... Logo on the chest of the Ghostbusters. I mean, it's a great toy. I'm guessing that means he's spooked when you push that arm and his face goes like that. But the paintwork is great. Can we see a date? It's a little bit blurry. Recording. This is awful recording. It's a bit blurred. But that's Ray Stance. Played by what's his name? I forgot his name. Ray Stans. Dan Aykroyd. The Blues Brother. That's right. So now we have Igor Spangler. Played by the late Harold Ramis. Ramis? Ramis? Ramus? Who knows how you say his last name. So why would I have three Igor Spanglers? It wasn't the greatest character. But there's the logo on the side of the arm there, and the hole for his prolon top pack. Oh, that's a little less blurry. 1984! Man, I wasn't even born yet when this tie was made. But I remember sending my grandma to Toys R Us, and she used to queue to get me Ghostbusters toys and Terminator toys. So there you have Igor Spengler. He's got the little round spectacles and grey outfit. I mean, I thought they all wore the same uniform. So why are they all dip colored different? Here's another Igor Spengler. Whoa, why don't you just go and knock out Peter Ventman? The name was on the tip of my tongue. As you can see, it looks like his tie is missing. It's been cut. But when you notice, if you see these, whoa, what's he doing there? So you push down the arm, and he's screaming, bah, monster ghost, bah, bah. Great. I have so much fun with toys, that's why I have to sit and talk about them. But if you know anything else about these Ghostbusters, or what year, because I think these toys are a bit later than the 1984 toy was so earlier. So, who was your favourite Ghostbuster? I mean, 10 to 1, a lot of you will say Peter Fenton. Close into the symbol there. But if I have to put my Ghostbusters in order of favourite, it'd be Pete Fenton, Ray Stans, Ego Spangler, and Winston Zedmo. So, we're looking at another Peter Fenton figure here. It looks freaky. Look at those eyes. I think he's been on the wacky packy. So, these Ghostbusters are scared. I wonder what the scene to be. A scared to knock your f hair off the top of your head. Again, these toys are painted great. And they're not in great condition, but they're not bad for our old. Oh, we almost saw a date there. But with this f 
camera work, it's a bit blurry. So does anyone know the dates of these toys? If you do, leave us a comment and let us know. They're falling everywhere. I've already, whoa, they've gone. Move on, leave them alone. So he's Winston Zedmore. And for the life of me, I can't remember the guy's name who played him. Even though I watched a Comic Book Men episode the other day with him in. And his name is on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Not even. Another old in the back for a product pack. 1990, we can read that one. Columbia Pictures. I mean, does that tie even look like Winston Zetmo? It doesn't at all. And why are all the costumes different colors? I mean, I never remember Igor Spengler wearing white. Unless maybe in a scene he had a lab coat on. Who knows? So, what was your favorite Ghostbusters movie? One or two? It was both great, but it has to be the first. I'm not sure what I think about the all-female Ghostbusters coming out. I reckon it'll be good. I hope so. I'm looking forward for the film. So this one has a button on the back. And if you well, push it up, he's scared. I mean, I don't like the fact that his tongue is still hanging out. Maybe that should have popped out. And what's that at the side of his head? Are they like green alien tentacles or something? Get off my hair, you green alien f***! Oh, I'm just giving you a head massage! <laughs> uh, so the toys are made by Kenner, as you can see there. And this one's 1989. So I'd have been about four years old. I mean, I love the Ghostbusters. Who doesn't? Is there anybody out there who doesn't love the Ghostbusters? If you don't, you're a I joke. But if you don't, leave us a comment and let us know what is your problem with the Ghostbusters. I mean, I remember as a kid having the big fire station. It was great. And they had these little owls. And you got tubs of slime and put them through the holes. And stood your Ghostbusters underneath. And the slime would just drop on their heads. But when we moved house, my mom left all the toys. And I had Lowe's. I had Star Wars. Toxic Avengers. Aliens. Ghostbusters. Batman. I had a Millennium f- Falcon. But anyway, I'm going off track a bit. And it seems we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed looking at the real Ghostbusters. I did. I might start doing a little bit of research before I talk about some toys so I know a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But who wants to listen to someone who's done research on the toys? We're just here to have a bit of fun talk. I mean, it, it annoys me when people stand there going, yes. And this is a Ghostbuster from 1986. It was made by Kenner. You know. Anyway, bye for now. Bye bye. Wow. And what another great video. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you would like to see more of the Christopher Tolkien show, please subscribe here or like our videos. So if you'd like to see more and better toys, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. You have been watching the Christopher Tyken Show. See you again soon.